Good morning dear students how are you all hope you all are doing well and must be enjoying the hybrid mode of classes also remember that you all have to complete your work on daily basis we were doing lesson number 15 means of communication we have already completed part a b c and d today we will complete part e which is answer the following questions our first question is differentiate between individual communication and mass communication you have to give examples also we have learned many things in this lesson we have learned about communication and the different means of communication we communicate with others using different means of communication letters card radio television emails are called means of communication letters telephone mobiles email are individual means of communication whereas radio television newspaper magazines are all means of mass communication letters are a common and a cheap mean of communication telephone and mobile phones are the quickest and easiest means of communication the computer is another popular means of sending messages nowadays through emails artificial satellites help send messages and information quickly across the world through signals let us talk about individual communication first it is the communication between person to person it only provides information and the examples are letters emails and telephone on the other hand mass communication is the communication with masses it provides entertainment as well as information the best examples are radio television magazines and newspapers let's move to question number 2 which is what is postal communication how did it bring the world close a few years back so let's write down the answer it is the method of communication by post it brought the world close by making communication effective and reachable to all as it was less expensive and easily available in every part of the country that's all for today you have to complete your work in very good handwriting i will see you tomorrow till then bye bye